Hello everyone, I'm Jeremy. And I'm Eva. And thank you for joining us today on our virtual tour of the University of Maine at Augusta. We were established as a university system campus in 1965, and we've quickly grown to be the third largest University of Maine system college, serving nearly 5,000 students statewide and beyond. Uh, through our Augusta campus, our Bangor campus, and our UMA centers, and our online degree programs, we are able to join our students at home and in their backyards. The University of Maine at Augusta offers 20 baccalaureate programs with associate and certificate program offerings as well, which can be delivered flexibly and ranging in interest. Students can access their UMA coursework virtually anywhere. Another unique aspect of the University of Maine at Augusta is our diverse student population. You will encounter both traditional age students straight out of high school, a number of transfer students coming in at various stages from other colleges, as well as some of our non-traditional students that are returning adults that have had a gap in their educational career. Thank you for considering the University of Maine at Augusta for an option on your educational journey. Please join us to check out the rest of campus. Welcome to the Randall Student Center, the newest addition to the UMA campus. Built in 2004, it was named after Richard J. Randall, the 10th president of UMA. The center houses the Moose Tracks Cafe, the bookstore, student services, student organizational offices, classrooms, and lounges. Let's go take a look around. Welcome to UMA admissions office and the first stop on your journey with us. Whether you're just starting as a student, continuing, or completing your educational career, stop in and have a conversation with us. We're glad to help you through the process, as well as introduce you to the UMA community as a whole. After your first stop in the admissions office here in the Randall Student Center, there are a few other offices we recommend that you introduce yourself to as well. Right across the hall from us is the Registrar's Office. This is our Student Records Office, as well as the office that looks at transfer credits coming in with students from other colleges. Down the hall from them is our academic advising office. This staff is able to assist our students in making class selections, completing their degree, as well as career advising for afterwards. Upstairs, though, is our financial aid office, and we encourage you to have a conversation with these individuals to understand the financial aspects of being a college student and how best to take advantage of loans, grants, and scholarships that are available to you. Our Enrollment Service Center serves as a one-stop for UMA students on campus. The staff here can help you find a classroom, pay your bill, register for classes, print off a copy of your schedule, or help answer any questions you might have about the university. If they don't know the answer, they will point you in the right direction. The Moose Tracks Cafe is a great place to grab something to eat or meet up with classmates and professors between classes. Whether you prefer to dine in or eat on the go, a wide array of fresh, locally sourced food is available and made just the way you like it. UMA now uses an online bookstore called eCampus, where students can rent and offer a combination of hard copy and digital textbooks. The former bookstore at UMA still sells select supplies and apparel. Staff will also be available to help students navigate textbook orders through eCampus. UMA offers a number of unique degree programs, notably our five-year professional bachelor degree in architecture, our nursing, information library sciences, cybersecurity, as well as our dental hygiene and vet tech program that are in our Bangor campus. Not to mention our bachelor of aviation degree, which is one of our more unique ones for the United States East Coast, and also more affordable for many students that are considering this as an educational option for themselves. Thank you for joining us in the Fireside Lounge, which is on the second floor of the Randall Student Center. The lounge is used for free lunch and learns as well as many student activities that are offered throughout the school year. The lounge is one of many dedicated student spaces throughout the center and throughout campus. Down the hall behind us, is our Student Government Association, which offers our students the ability to be represented at both the campus level as well as the University of Maine system level. Next door to them is our Student Life Department. 
these individuals organize events, trips, and service learning opportunities for our students to take advantage of. In addition, there are a number of clubs and organizations that students can be involved and interact with. And if there's a club you want to join that doesn't exist yet, you can go ahead and start it on your own. Across the hall, though, is our Dean of Students office. We encourage you to be involved with them during your onboarding and orientation with us. And if you're not able to join us in person, our virtual orientation is an option that you can fully take advantage of as well. Let's move on to our next stop on the tour. The second floor of the Randall Student Center offers computer classrooms as well as the main cyber range, which has a mission of enhancing cybersecurity education as well as increasing the number of fully prepared students engaging in the cybersecurity workforce. The main cyber range is a training and simulation center for students, professionals at large organizations, small to mid-sized businesses and government agencies seeking realistic and cutting-edge technologies for defending against malicious cyber attacks. At the center of campus, surrounded by the Randall Student Center and the other primary buildings of campus, is the UMA Campus Green. This serves as one of the primary and central locations for activities and events throughout the year. One of our more popular events is our Welcome Back Week for students ending with a barbecue, live band, and family-friendly games. In addition, we kick off our academic year with UMA's Convocation Celebration. This event also marks recognition for our rising scholars who are nominated by faculty and staff for academic merit as well as academic promise. Jewett Hall is named after UMA's first president, Lloyd J. Jewett, who was instrumental in the establishment of UMA as a separate and autonomous campus of the University of Maine system. Housed inside is the Danforth Art Gallery, college offices, classrooms, lab space, our auditorium, and student development offices. The Danforth Gallery is a living classroom and art exhibition space for contemporary art at UMA and in the greater community. Throughout the year, the Danforth Gallery displays exhibits and artist talks from local, national, and international artists, as well as senior art and architecture exhibitions. It also makes a nice, quiet space to study or to just sit and enjoy. Welcome to the Jewett Hall Auditorium. One of our large locations on campus, this space gets used for a number of activities with students as well as the public. If you're taking a drama class, you will absolutely be using this space. But we've used it for a number of our jazz concerts, our all-state jazz competition, as well as community concerts and events. We've had a couple of our political debates hosted here as well. If by chance you're able to join us for an on-campus tour with your high school, we'll most likely see you in the space with us. UMA's Student Development Office offers student support and services to help you successfully transition into college, enrich your learning environment, or provide support if you're having an off day. Such services include the TRIO program, accessibility services, academic success coaching, math tutoring, and counseling services. These resources can be accessed by students on campus or at a distance. Welcome to the largest classroom on the Augusta campus. Here at UMA, we have a 16 to 1 student to faculty ratio, so you'll get to know your professors on a personal level. At UMA, you're not just a face in the classroom, you're an individual. Not only are our faculty able to create one-on-one -on -one student connections, they are also engaged in several academic, community, and research projects across disciplines. Adventurous thinkers and passionate educators, UMA faculty aims to expand the horizon of human understanding and thinking. The Cates Library was named after the late Bennett Cates. He was instrumental in the founding of the University of Maine at Augusta. The library contains books, periodicals, and resources that can be accessed through a collection of campus and statewide libraries. It also serves as a nice place to study independently or in small, quiet study groups. Let's go look together.
The main level of the Cates Library provides students with an open area to come together and work collectively. It also houses the main Women's Hall of Fame and our circulation desk, where the friendly staff and student workers can assist students with access to resources as well as research support. Library hours include evenings and weekends. The upper level of Cates is home to our computer labs, writing center, information and library science program, and our innovative collaboratory. The collaboratory lets students engage in hands-on learning through virtual reality, 3D printer tools, and more. The upper level also provides students with private and quiet study space. The lower level of Cates contains ITV classroom and broadcast facilities, as well as the music and sonic arts studio. UMA's contemporary and popular music program is one of the premier programs offered in New England. With progressive program content, multi-stylistic approaches, and a state-of-the-art facility, students can take advantage of our program in person or online. Students can focus on performance, audio, composition, sonic arts, or a mixture of everything. Regardless of your interest, UMA Music is music your way. Since our founding in 1965, when a simple Welcome Veterans sign encouraged Vietnam era veterans to enroll, we have continued a rich tradition of supporting military experienced students. In 2017, UMA was able to renovate existing space on campus to provide a state of the art veteran academic center located in the lower level of Cates. UMA has been recognized throughout the years as a top military friendly school with various national organizations and with a dedicated director of military and veteran services and certifying officials, there are a lot of resources available for veterans and active duty members. The Clark Center is home to the Holocaust and Human Rights Center of Maine. The center was named after Michael Clark, a Jewish survivor of the Nazi occupation in France during World War II. He escaped and eventually found his way to Maine where he became a successful businessman. In partnership with UMA, the center's purpose is to educate the public as well as the UMA community about topics related to human rights issues. Featuring the exhibit, Were the House Still Standing, the Holocaust and Human Rights Center holds public programming, student and community exhibits, along with UMA classrooms. For students who are interested, UMA even has a Holocaust, Genocide, and Human Rights Study minor. Welcome to UMA's Nursing Simulation Lab, home of one of our most popular degree programs. The Sim Lab allows our students to learn through simulated patient experiences at all levels. UMA's Bachelor of Nursing program allows our students to sit for the NCLEX exam and advance into the work field. This program is also available at multiple UMA locations throughout the state of Maine. Our nursing program is rigorous but with a holistic approach, evidence-based practice, and hands-on experience, the curriculum prepares students with skills that can be used in clinical practice. UMA also offers an RN to BSN completion program. This program is designed for students that already hold their associate's degree and active RN license. The program is flexible and can be completed online fully. And that program's flexibility allows our working students to take advantage of new career opportunities for themselves. Welcome to UMA's Fitness Center. Students and their families have access to state-of-the-art equipment, racquetball court, and two-plus miles of well-groomed cross-country trails. UMA offers a variety of sports options for students. We have men's and women's basketball, men's and women's cross-country, men's and women's track, as well as co-ed golf and co-ed bowling. Currently right now, we are members of the USCAA Yankee Small Conference that allows our students to compete at a national level. Welcome to the UMA Augusta Campus Community Garden where growing community and growing food take place side by side. Vegetables grown here are donated to on-campus food closets and off-campus food banks as part of our commitment to address food insecurity in the state of Maine. Students can also take part in integrated coursework that applies the theory and research of sociology and psychology. It is also a relaxing place to hang out, enjoy the sunshine, and company of other students. 
One of the points of pride for UMA is the amount of artwork from students, staff, and faculty that is showcased across the campus. The amount of visual creativity reflects the richness of UMA's art program and its collaboration with the campus and greater community. Located in downtown Augusta on Water Street is Hanley Hall, where UMA's art and architecture programs are housed. UMA's Bachelor of Architecture program offers the only professional architecture degree in Maine and the only public five-year professional degree in northern New England. Hanley Hall has a dedicated studio and critique spaces, as well as additional architecture drafting and studio classrooms hardwired with state-of-the-art presentation technology. The presence in the heart of Maine's capital is an ideal place for students to engage with communities around the state. Welcome to Stevens Commons, UMA's affordable housing option for full-time Augusta campus students. Located in Hollowell, just over the Augusta city line, this historical site sits on top of a hill overlooking the Kennebec River Valley. 80 plus beds are available to students and furnished rooms. Amenities include the fitness center, laundry, mail service, and a student lounge. Stevens Commons is located about four miles from the UMA Augusta campus and is within walking distance to Hollowell's retailers and restaurants. Not to mention, it's also in close proximity to Hollowell's police and fire departments. Take a moment and step inside with us. Welcome to the top floor of Stevens Commons, one of our dorm buildings available for students. Sticking with Hollowell's artistic identity in the development of UMA's housing, we maintain the historical aspects of the building itself. You're gonna see some of the original tile work and woodwork throughout the building as we tour. The newly renovated student apartments feature open layouts with sun-filled rooms, private bedrooms and kitchen, dining and bath spaces. One, two and three bedroom suites will be available. Because dorms are located off campus, UMA offers a shuttle service to transport students to and from campus. As we wrap up by UMA's Reflection Pond, we want to thank you on behalf of the UMA community for joining us on this virtual tour of the UMA Augusta campus. We hope that we've been able to give you a glimpse of some of the highlights of our campus. Whether you join us in person, at a distance, at one of our many locations across the state of Maine or online, we hope to see you soon.